I'm just going to stick this out in the center, so hopefully the, the mic will pick up what's available. Before we proceed further. So we need a list of things we need so that we're really prepared. So we need batteries for cameras, what kind or, of... Or some type of recording device, at least audio, right. that, that can be utilized for the full meetings. Can you take videos on my computer too, but like, you have to hold it, and on my phone. I think every phone is video capable right now. <laughs> yeah, it just drains your battery like crazy. <laughs> oh. right. this Do we not have an outlet around here? All right, Amber. Thank you. An old tape recorder would work fairly well. It would actually be pretty cheap, and all of that can smoothly be utilized. A more permanent record, as well as something that could be sent out or communicated to other groups, can always occur. That way, if anything gets said, if there's a conversation and somebody misses out on a part of the conversation, they can miss out on a lot of the conversation as a result of that. If they don't understand the foundation of what was being spoken of before, um, if they don't, if they miss one point, a lot of other points can suddenly not make sense or seem more absurd than they actually are. Um, so having that kind of a record, uh, being able to go into that record and find the best parts, the best ideas, and then create something out of it. Uh, Jack, can I go over these? Uh, there's certain... I, mean, I know there's there are rules, but I mean, that's a procedural thing. Yeah, please speak to the... Please. Okay. Hans stayed here last night, by the way. Yeah. We need other people to stay with you. This is from the General Assembly uh, in New York City. Um, we can pass uh, these around uh, to, to go up as a ways. It says, on September 17, 2011, people from across the United States of America and the world came to protest the blatant injustice is perpetuated by the 1%, the economic and the political elites, whose actions affect us all, the 99%. We spoke out, resisted, and successfully occupied Wall Street. Today, we proudly remain engaged in nonviolent civil disobedience while building solidarity based on mutual respect, acceptance, and love. We are the 99% and we have assumed full responsibility for the future of our society, our culture, and most importantly, our lives, our own lives. The New York General Assembly is gathering of people committed to making decisions based on collective agreement or consensus. There is no single leader or governing body of the General Assembly. Everyone's voice is equal. Everyone is free to propose an idea or express an opinion as part of the General Assembly. Each proposal follows the same basic format. An individual shares what is being proposed, why it is being proposed, and if there's enough agreement, how it can be carried out. The Assembly will express its opinion for each proposal through a series of hand gestures. One is, I agree, I disagree, if you have a point of interest, I believe that that's if you want to speak up and uh, make a point. Uh, and then if you want to block an action. I'm not too familiar with all the hand signals uh, and gestures, but when a group gets real loud or real large, you know, they use them and it's very effective. It doesn't take away from uh, clapping is awesome, and, uh, but yet when you have three or four other people, and everybody's clapping, uh, it can uh, get in the way of progress. And so that's why they use these hand signals. Um, if there is a positive consensus for a proposal, meaning no opposition, then it's accepted and direct action begins. If there's not a consensus, the responsible group or individual is asked to revise the proposal and submit again at the, general, at the following General Assembly until a majority consensus is achieved. Within the General Assembly, there are smaller gathering, gatherings known as working or thematic groups that focus on supporting specific initiatives or topics relevant to the movement. 
These range from food, medical, and legal committees to arts and culture, correct actions, principles of solidarity, and many more. All groups are open to anyone interested in supporting. For a list of the description of each group, you can check out New York City or NYCGA dot cc backslash groups backslash and you can check this out uh you know it says uh, there's four basic hand gestures uh, during the general assembly to express an opinion they're used to ensure everyone's voice is heard and everyone's opinion is respected you can check this out they'll be up at the table uh i think they'll help us communicate better uh -huh. If you need more copies of this, I can do that. Great. Let's have more copies. Yeah. yeah. Will you do that? Yeah. Great. I'll go home and do that right away. Consensus on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We can do it. We yeah. did it with 1,500 people in the, the uh, Nevada test site in a hotel lobby. And we did, we worked through these things together. We knew and we had great respect together. And within a few hours, we had actions from everybody involved. And we did it also at the WTO in Seattle with all kinds of things going on. We made it work because of these particular symbols and respect and the bonding. Uh, anybody else uh, about an agenda? Because we see the point of interest. Yes. been in the military and he had a sign that said I survived the military I will survive the one percent and for my sake I would say I overcame cancer I'll damn well overcome the one percent so mm -hmm. you know <laughs> I'm just thinking of little things because there's a lot of people out there that go about their jobs and they say I don't have time for this I don't have time for that so they don't have time to read these real long things, all right? So that's why if we put up signs with little what they call sound bites, maybe we can get through to these mics. <laughs> <laughs> Any proposal on how we can do that? Let's stay with it. Speaking of sound bites and that exactly, I was just going to submit that. Um, one of the things that's going on right now is the community sees us out here protesting, but we, they don't know we're an occupation. They see us as part of a regular protesting cycle that happens here at the courthouse. So, I mean, if we can get people to call KHSU and KHOM and write the paper and tell the community, this is an occupation, come out and join us. You don't have to stay 24-7, come out and stand for four hours and let people know that we're trying to amass as many people as we can here and the, the sooner we start getting that word out through other mediums other than just being here physically you know on the radio on news channel three on the internet <laughs> on, on the internet yeah. I mean, that's facebook the internet yeah. Yeah. Wow. here Who's i found out the, facebook the internet who, who yeah. started the facebook page yeah, real quick question. yeah we, nobody <laughs> knows <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I'm here too. Yeah, anonymous. It's anonymous. You really? Anonymous that's fine with me, but uh, we need more administrators. Like yes, the guy we were at, yeah. asking for uh, people. To, people are asking to be administrators. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, good idea, because the date's like going to end up today. Yeah, like, but yeah, since people, somebody sold me said it's going to end at six o'clock on my phone, and I'm like, no, where'd you get that from? And they're like, on the internet. Yeah, that's why a lot of people are thinking this is just a short term thing. We're in this for the long. Yeah, and it said like 12 to 2 or something on the first day. Yeah. What? It, it's well, uh, people are working on that. Uh, we might have to uh, take all of our uh, our li uh, people that like that uh, well, page and switch it over to another. We could do that or, you know, everybody who especially has found out about it by the internet or is using the page, just start flooding the wall to see if you can get the attention of whoever started it. They're gonna, it's going to flood their inbox. That's true. Where's the admin over and over span? Yeah, you can file <laughs> one, one, uh, elsewhere. There's a, you know, simple well, hand over here. The person put it that. together, cared about it at all, and they weren't doing it. it unless they well, were doing it. Just uh, uh, Jack, uh, I technically, uh, I don't know if they know about how to do stack uh, off of his Well, they uh, haven't proposal. gotten started because it, we never gave it a chance. But, uh, yeah. I, well, I really want to take a stack so that we don't crosstalk too much, although the crosstalk is great. I like to see us do that. So right now, I'm just going to take hands. You, you'll be number one. I'll just take five people. One, two, three.
three, four, five, and then we'll talk about If anybody has anybody to say but, he's taking a stack. Yeah, so that way we st kind of stop the crosstalk a little bit, although it's useful. And maybe we can get through this banners and how we get our, you know, get on all sides now and a few things like that. You were first. Okay. One, and then who's two? The Facebook. We're just a minute. One, two, anybody else want to speak, speak after you? I was only trying. I'll be five. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll be. Uh, ahead. You're six. No, you're <laughs> five and six. That's yeah, we impossible. have one five six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we have a two. This is working yeah. very I'll, good. I'll stick I'm in the middle. One. I'll be three. <laughs> well, why don't you go and we'll see what happens. Okay. The Facebook page was started by Anonymous two days after the protest started in New York City as a means to protect the protesters in New York City. Okay? The problem with it now is <laughs> it's just grown too big for Facebook to handle. Oh, no. It's, no, crashing, it's, it's crashing some of their sites. <laughs> their Facebook runs on a state-by-state -state level. They have a server for each state. And they're having problems with their servers because there's just too many hits. Okay? So this Occupy Together is starting so that it can be a clearinghouse for all the occupying throughout the country. Okay? The thing is, is sooner or later, Right? The occupiers are going to have to get off of Facebook and get on the uh, Occupy yes, Together website. Because Facebook is to the point right now where they just can't handle it. I think if we, if we get back on a little bit of track on how we put it locally, I, it's well taken and I think it's happening. Uh, and I, you know, the fact that this is beyond my control as an organizer makes me know it's good. I, I can't keep up with it. So I, I know things are happening. It's never happened like that before. So I'm just saying that feeding off what you wanted, what you brought up about uh, signs and ways of, of meeting, and you talked about getting on, on uh, KMUD, KGOE. We'll have lists tomorrow of how to do that. People, well, you should know that in first, first days and always when we have uh, a real campaign going, we always have people calling in daily always to the, the news room and just talking with they want to hear it from us they want to hear it firsthand about when we're right here or we're on our march or whatever just to corroborate what you're saying and what you're trying to say any other more more things about how we can reach out and we should really try i will bring bring the numbers tomorrow if we if we can look them up today we can start right now yeah, yeah. i have my computer okay i'll let you take the notes while i look it up <laughs> Any more on that should we should cover because we all should be willing I, to I, say from our own perspective. I think definitely talking to everyone you meet and you know I, I walked into my you know uh, apartment building yesterday and my neighbors were having a big party. I was like, hey, this is going on. Welcome to the political nature of Humboldt County and uh, hopefully they'll show up. Who knows? And I, I'm kind of also you. Like on a, on a slightly separate note, you have to have a bit of tough skin to even be here right now. And I, I just want to say, I hope you guys all keep that skin tough, uh, like gentle, but tough, because there's going to be a lot of haters, and I'm already noticing it, and just like friends of mine like, oh, do you want to hang out? I'm like, come here and hang out with me, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, they're like, oh, I'm not in the mood for that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know what, I'm not in the mood for for the political climate right now at all. I'm not, yeah. I don't want to be here. Like, yeah. you know, I, this is not the post... I mean, it's fun. It, it turned out to be fun, but I wasn't expecting it to be this much fun. It just ended up being that way, <laughs> uh, which is cool. Bonus. But well, we won you over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You go back <laughs> and tell those people. Yeah. Well, I am kind of getting sick of it, too, though. Not, I mean, you know, that's why I'm here, though. I'm sick of this. I don't want to ever have to do this again. I want things just to be right. I want the communication lines open everywhere. There's always going to be 
there will always be a struggle. It will never go away. I used to think it would, but no, nah, it's always going to be there. Anyway, I, I was just thinking maybe some kind of little, very, very super simple half sheet flyer with the basics about time, place, and then, you know, no need to be really elaborate about the goals because I think this is sort of in its infancy at this point and things can be more focused later. But, you know, just something to pass out to people when they walk by. And, and I'm idea. so sorry. I don't I, manifest that right away rather um, than... Well, I can create a flyer or something and someone can go print it out. That's great. And then right. I also am going... Who wants to work with you? With, you know, like... Who uh, wants yeah, to yeah does anybody uh, uh, have a, that skill for them? I does mean, anyone have a car who can go to a printing place? And we have uh, we have uh, resources yeah. at Staples. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm like I have. Uh, thank you. Like I have class tomorrow. I know a lot of other people are going to their classes. Talk out class. Uh, we've been uh, uh, we've been taking them and put them in the uh, in the tent because people pass by in the middle of the night. We want to make uh, that available. And then if people join us that don't have uh, uh, that, so we will take, and then if something happens, uh, and if something happens, those blankets would then go to an organization to be distributed out to uh, the, uh, the homeless population. So yes, we'd love yes. the blankets. You want to talk about history? 1991, we did a Catholic We're getting to it. We open up winter shelter. And the homeless all came here. Projects right now, but we need a one big banner that to take the place of that one there and okay. make it more. Obvious. And we have another banner here too, Jack. Right. And so we need some art. For yes, our we, people. we need to begin that. We need a canvas. And uh, like people a, putting word out to uh, uh, media outlets, whether it's uh, I know you. I forgot your first name. Telvi. Huh? Telvi. Telvi. Yeah. Telvi wrote a letter to the editor yesterday. Is anybody interested in writing a letter to the editor uh, to the newspaper? Okay, great. So we have another, uh, Dan's uh, willing to work on that. I stretch my own canvas, so I have tons of Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, oh. We'll always have more artists. We will have people yeah. here to I mean, do that. I don't have any supplies you can bring. We well, can get, I like, can find a, a little tree yeah. or whatever and stick yeah. it in there whenever someone's feeling inspired. Yes, yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, we'll, we, we can bring out our own art supplies and make an art spread. I think uh, art's really going to move this movement ahead, uh, you know. Uh, young and old, fresh uh, uh, inspiration, uh, fresh uh, ideas. So I think we really have to go forward about how to maintain this place and, you know, being prepared legally and what we face tomorrow because it's going to be a little different tomorrow. We have our day today. This is Sunday and the day off, but we may we, it's better to be prepared for whatever comes up, so we'll have to talk that out a little bit. So, um, two things that I think are really important. One is uh, safety, 
and so like if anybody has like a car kit, like an extra one sitting around with like band-aids, things like that, just a little like safety thing in case someone scrapes their knee. Right, and yeah. then also um, medical kit. Medical kit. And then also trash receptacles. We need to get something. There are those. If this gets big, those are going to fill up really quickly. Right. We need a rule to make sure this stays as clean and nice as yeah. possible because that's what we want. We want a nice world. Yeah, yeah, we need to stay here and we want it to be as, as, as you know, Low like impact. accommodating as possible. We don't want to trash the lawn. We don't want to do anything. We have to move the head every couple of days so it just doesn't begin to. Yeah, and they're going to want to mow this grass probably this week, you can tell. I mean, Yeah, so look. we have to be more, we have to be careful and try to accommodate while we talk it through. Actually, Whatever they do when they come to us, they may be coming any time to tell us, what are you doing here and how long we should you offer plan to, to mow stay? The grass. What is our answer? <laughs> Let's bring some goats. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they can move you around forever and also and also really just distract and just and, Yeah, they make you feel by moving your camp they make you, they'll wear you down. They, they yeah. can actually move us. So. More logistics to work out. Consensually. So we wanna be real flexible and so yes, we I do. mean yes, so we do. don't let it get you down. And when they're coming, remember, this is kind of a ninny little concept of what we face being a trainer of this kind of stuff. But we will have a trainer come as soon as possible, maybe tomorrow or the next day, so we can really get into it in more detail. I'm just gonna say, cops can, can be very threatening, uh, but you can always be nice. You can, uh, they will say you have to be off here by a certain amount of time. They're not ready to take you at all when they say that. <laughs> Normally they're not ready to do anything. They're just, they're just threatening you in, to see if you will move. One day, a cop came out here, and I had set some, a pole in the grass, and he said, if you don't get that thing off right there, right now, I'm going to arrest you. And I, by the time I get around the block, so I thought, well, this is a showdown. What do I do? I guess I better get ready to go to jail. And he never came back. <laughs> so anyway, be patient, use your love, be receptive, not argumentative, and you will find, you will have some people that you're able to talk to. No cops that have ever arrested me in the in the forest movement or any place else that I have not have a chance to talk with and by the time they got me to jail, I would talk to, with them about family and what they were doing and how their country used to look and what are they doing, what they're doing, and they were listening and we were having a nice conversation. Okay, I'm just that's all I wish to say. Now, how do we... we were going to be here tonight. We should really go into that. Well, we were talking about cleaning, too, Jack, and making sure the place is nice. So we talked about medical kits, uh, we have that. rash. Uh, we have trash receptacles. I know Amber offered to do the dishes. Uh, park is the place that can, dishes can be done if anybody is passionate about uh, cleaning up dishes. Uh, park is a place uh, that uh, dishes can be done. Uh, uh, there's a song that uh, the Wingnut Dishwasher Union sings, uh, you, uh, you know, somebody has to do the dishes before the revolution, uh, you know, but uh, it's, uh, it's something that needs to be done. We can do it here on site uh, with the three uh, type of uh, three tubs, water bag, you know. Does anybody probably. have large white buckets that they can uh, bring? I might. I'll, I'll okay. Test. Anybody else have buckets? Anybody have trash? These two things we'll need right away. We might as well just get First aid kit, trash, and dishes. Okay. Uh, uh, we have a kit, and Verbena has a medical kit. A first aid kit? Yeah. Great. And and so we have that. Medical. And so okay. let's just be thinking about it because it's not all up to anyone anymore. It's not up to all of no, us. No, it's all. all up to all of us. So when you go home tonight, we'll read off this list just before you leave, before we, we step aside. Our needs list. Our needs list. Okay. Does that sound all right? Sounds good. Does anybody else think we uh, what we need that uh, you think uh, so we can put it on the list well, real, real quick? It's been raised, but we haven't really discussed um, what kind of uh, legal support it, yeah. it is there. Who, who knows either lawyers? Um, well, that's what, what we said. We'll have it here by tomorrow. We oh, do have, we have access to yes. people like this. Okay. It's that we've been the ones that have been doing this kind of thing in the movement. Um, it's not to say that you shouldn't do what you can do too. <laughs> I'm just saying we will see that some of that gets started. I think extra weather wear, because it's supposed to rain this week, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's going to scare a lot of people. Like if there's extra tents people can bring, or like those like tarp hoodie things just to give out to people who want to stay. 
you know, anything like that. I, I mean, I think we should be collecting a lot of stuff for people. Even like clean socks in case someone's like yeah. freezing cold and, yeah. you know. Dollar ponchos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we making those calls out at night to friends? Yeah. Are we putting those Facebook stuff out? Do we come to bring your supplies? We may be able to use them. Are, are we approaching thrift stores like uh, St. Vinny's? Oh, uh, there's anything to make that we have in the past, and they're a little out right now. They had a burn, so we're not able to get to them. But, but they are always accessible to us. They are. It's a great idea, and other other thrift stores where you are closer to in Arcata and are down in Eureka on Broadway. Well, we talked last night about hitting local stores, you know, because their bottom hop stores are going to be the ones that, uh, you know, we're anti-capitalists, you know, I mean, so uh, we are not anti-capitalists, but anti-corporations, so we want to stick up for the mom and pop stores and maybe utilize them in our, uh, uh, in our quest. If but this, if this really catches, people will be coming up along, along the sidewalk there in the roadway with more things all the time, yeah. like they did in Seattle, like they've done every place where we've made a dent in this society. Yeah. Well, just on the practical side, if everybody starts bringing stuff here, they want everybody to move all the lawn or whatever, I mean, what kind of logistics you can you talk to these, like, about if they want to move the lawn, you, you don't have to let them, I don't think. I think tomorrow it might be good to have a few people go in there, like, you know, and talk to them and say, pardon me, but we're going to be here a while and we think you should know about it, so you should maybe not pay the lawnmower in advance this time. You know? Well, I, I guess my question is, expected they threw us off the city hall property after we put we were there 40 days though yeah in Jack 40 has days experience with in 40 it. days we might just be able to make a, a really a good dent but i don't know anything about i can't propose that i'm just Are saying only one person was arrested around 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 so that was, that was only one person was arrested in those at those 40 days right. and so it wasn't you know they didn't come in there and slam everybody down to the concrete and hurt no. uh, them all off. Well, I'm not no. concerned about that. I'm just concerned about, I mean, this is about opening communication with the well, government. Well, I'm We're sorry. We're right I, had a, that. I had a point of interest. Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was going to say is, is that uh, Jack said we have occupied spaces before yeah. and uh, I know up at HSU they sent a letter. I think uh, we could probably draft some sort of letter. Uh, you know, uh, I don't want to heap up more on your plate, but I know that you have a computer and you can get access online and we can uh, kind of maybe uh, all of us talk about what the content of the letter, what we want, but uh, maybe a letter to uh, them saying, hey, we've taken this over, uh, you know, uh, uh, and find out, uh, you know, I mean, we've written letters to uh, other people when we've occupied spaces. Uh, it's true, but I think that she makes a good point of a face-to-face -face contact, real communication, not um, the namelessness of a business letter, not the facelessness of a business letter, but going in and saying, hey, look, we're going to be here for a while. What concerns do you have? How can we make our stay here less of a problem for you? How can we cooperate so that we can continue doing this and you don't have as much of a problem on this day? How can we work with you to continue doing this out here? Um, you know, like if they have a concern about the lawn, well, how can we help you with that concern about the lawn? Would you two uh, like to be part of that? Yeah, would you like uh, that affinity Just group take going, that on because you're both going uh, in involved. there and, and talk? Uh, time for change! What? Time for change! Time for change! Ten after two! Oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was a cheer! <laughs> I didn't see Bro, that symbol. Who can? Alex. I can dig it. How's everybody doing? Everybody so far, so I know we have some things to talk out about what we stand for and stuff. Sun's out, dude. We're doing wonderful. Okay? I just want to be sure. I'm like, 
one day of sun and I'm burned to like lobster. Yeah. <laughs> well, you so, you look like you're pretty well prepared. Different How about everybody else with dark skin, uh, olive skin? Lesson. Okay. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Paul? I don't know. I feel like I should they be out there. Out. Sure, maybe actually run the game. They're mostly there for the people in here. Oh, by the way, just so you know, we have a, a bathroom, a restroom. Uh, if you go to visit the, the prisoners, you go down the, the stairway, just beyond the tree, you go through a, a tunnel, and you go to the bathrooms before you go to jail. <laughs> hey, what are we going to do? Hello. <laughs> I didn't know there was a bathroom in us. Well, we'll try, to, we'll try to do without the last part. Also, if anyone's hungry, there's like food on the table and there probably will be like replenishments of that all the time. So, you know. People have come out and they have done the launch before and we've just moved everything. There's to a answer what you're saying. And there's we're going to have a specific time. list of things we need. So we're not going to have people just using this like a, a thrift store. We're not just bringing in clothes. No, no, we're not here to like, you know. I mean, it'd be nice to shoot the people, but... You might be down at the office. So would we just, you know, if I come... Would we get the training tomorrow? I saw the, the CEO on television, the CEO of Starbucks, uh -huh. yeah. and he was taking the bank to get out and saw uh, landing for small business and this, that, and the other. So it was kind of cool to see a CEO step on the board. Oh, really? uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> but you didn't build the Starbucks empire by not motivating people and not, like, you know. Oh yeah, they're very active. And, yeah, you know, I mean, they usually don't take a political stance, so it's interesting that they're supporting this. But um, well, no, he's just basically saying America can do a lot better than us. Guys, I'm afraid I've run.